Look what came in the mail, my friend. A box. A box. There's a box, a brown box, and it came in the mail, and now it's in our possession. Pretty excited about this. Yeah, and it's only like 1.40 in the afternoon. Now, I know it's really important to cut towards yourself, but we're going wide instead of uh, uh, vertically, so I'm going to have to cut from left to right if that's all right. Yeah, okay. I'll just, you know. <laughs> I just saw some things. I'm very, very, very excited. Womp a womp. We couldn't get it on opening day because that was when we flew to Thailand. Yeah, we missed it. I was there for opening day for PS3. I waited outside for two days. I was even in the two news. days. I was even in the newspaper. I waited. I I had a little tent in the parking <laughs> lot. You were and one of those. They guys. thought I was silly, and the Tribune came and took my picture. Mm -hmm. And I got a PlayStation 3 on opening day. It was November 2006. Mm, I don't know. I think, I th yeah, I think so. And the PlayStation 4 came out right after Buffer, right before we went to uh, Thailand, and so we couldn't get it. And then by the time we all got back, sold out everywhere. And I went to a bunch of stores, and I tried, and I called, and man, nothing. But anyways. Uh, we got it, ordered it online, finally came, uh, and, I, and I, I'm going to be pretty honest, I'm pretty pumped. So it's a couple hours later, and I said to Corrado, and this totally came true, we're going to open the PlayStation 4, set up the PlayStation 4, plug it in to everything apart from a, from a physical, you know, hardware point of view, setting it up. We're going to log in, we're going to update the system, we're going to put in our game, we're going to update the game, we're going to set all the settings, it's going to take a couple hours, and then I'm going to have to go. <laughs> I gotta go. I'm leaving. So you get to play on the freshly set up PlayStation 4, yeah. which is lovely. Yes. You're very lucky. I get the couch to myself. Yeah. What about Saskia? She's like, I don't care about you boys and your stupid video games. What? She's just gonna watch Buffy. Okay, so I guess. She got the vlog up and then she's like, yeah. What, watch Buffy. what do you think so far? I think it's pretty great. Cool. This screen with the Facebook logo. Oh man, really you can nice. you can log <laughs> all your stuff and sync all your accounts. It's pretty good. It's hard to believe that this is true, but the PlayStation 3 was like the oldest technology mm. that we regularly used in this house. And PS3s are great and like super powerful and PS3s are a really good gaming console. 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 Um, but they're from 2006. Which is older than, it's like, oh, that, that wasn't that long ago. And then you think about it, it's like, like 2006 was, was a long was time ago. ago. That was, I got a PlayStation 3 before YouTube. Right, before no, YouTube. No, just a couple, I, 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 August, three months after I joined YouTube. Hmm. Three months. Wow. So, I, PS3 and, and YouTube. At basically at, at the same time and most of you guys aren't gonna care about this but in 2010 a newer version of Wi-Fi came out <laughs> like like there's been Wi-Fi but there's different kinds of Wi-Fi A and B and G and N and Wi-Fi N kind of came out 2009 2010 and whether you know it or not if you have any computer or any smartphone since then uh, it more than likely has wireless N uh, which is way faster mm -hmm. and everything in this house is wireless N except for the PS3 which is wireless G and I know you don't care but I was messing around with the network and there is a way that we can set it to only work for wireless N and it's faster and the PS3s were the only thing preventing us from switching to a, a, an exclusively wireless and network, and it's six times faster. Unless we wired them in. Unless we hardwired it, and then, which we should do, because then it then it goes to a thousand, right? Which is great. Anyways, you don't care about networking. The PlayStation you Four has. I don't even care. PlayStation Four has N. So it was the only thing on wireless G, old school <laughs> OG technology, and now we're updated to I was the end. Make that joke. Oh, I I was just waiting for a, waiting for you to take a breath. Too much talking. I don't Man. take breaths. I just it's a, it is a constant stream. And if I have nothing to say, then I just repeat myself, or I drag my sentence out and speak a little bit slower and more enunciated, uh, so that way uh, we are never without um, you know entertainment. So you have fun. I'm actually going to go hang out with my good friend Samantha Fall. We're celebrating her birthday early. 
pretty early, I think. Yeah, her birthday's not for like three weeks, but yeah. there's a thing that has to be today only. So I said we'd celebrate for her birthday today. So I'm gonna go, and then I'll be back and like... Right. I will probably be right here. Good. You're gonna be ahead of me in Tomb Raider, and then I'm not gonna be able to watch you play. <laughs> That's not I fair. We're gonna have to play it separately. So I got a giant Olympic cup full of ice tea, and now I have to pee. <laughs> I feel like the um, people who are athletes in the Olympics probably don't drink things like iced tea. Like if you're a world-class athlete, you would know not to be chugging that much sugar. Well, so why would they associate that amount of carbs with the Olympics. Because there's a lot of people like us that do like to and take that much sugar in one point. So like why, us? why did not? Like oh, us? I'm sorry, not like you. How much? How much of your drink did I have? None. <laughs> what? I had water. <sighs> You're so boring. More importantly, <laughs> we need to stop. Corey Davis. Corey is what? That seems like a rude thing to say. <laughs> Corey is an nope, anus. Nope. That's not. Um, Coriolanus? We, we saw Coriolanus, which is a Shakespearean play. It's a new movie, 2014. <laughs> just came out today. Feature film. No. Right? It's a Shakespearean play. It's one of his Shakespeare's later plays, and it's about. I think it was like one of his last Roman plays, which are my favorite. Um, and it was really good. So in England, they they do a lot of plays. They do a lot of Shakespeare, especially, but they also just do a lot of theater. And uh, the Donmar Warehouse, which is a theater company in London, was putting on Coriolanus. And the National Theater Live, which is a really awesome theater company, decided to broadcast it in two theaters all over the world. Live. Live. And so, <laughs> Corey and I went to go see Coriolanus, and it was amazing, it was so good. It was especially good, maybe because of the reason that, you know, Tom Hiddleston was in it, that it was like, very secondary. Yeah, yeah he's the guy who plays Sherlock, right? <laughs> no. Tom Hiddleston? No. He, he's Sherlock. No. Yep. No. Pretty sure he is. Pretty sure he's Pretty not. Pretty sure that everyone's all excited on Tumblr about Tom Hiddleston, and he's in Sherlock, and he's in the Avengers. He, everyone yeah. is, you got two things right. He, everyone is very excited about him on Tumblr. Yeah. And yes, he is in the Avengers, but no, he's not Sherlock. <laughs> Although, during the intermission, I heard someone say that, oh yeah, that's the guy that was the villain on Star Trek there. Yeah. I was like, no, yeah. no, yeah, he, he was, no. <laughs> Wrong English man. Anyways, it was a one night thing. They're doing an encore on February 22nd, so you can th see it in theaters on February 22nd. Uh, but yeah, it was an early birthday present, so thank you, Corey. You're welcome. Happy birthday. It Happy was early really good. birthday. I was very pleased. <sighs> and look at this. It's what, six hours later? Look uh, at you. About that, yeah. Have you moved? Uh, I've done, uh, you know, I've cooked. Like, uh huh. Dinner. Smells good here. Yeah. How's Tomb Raider? It's pretty good. It's a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It's quite the immersive game. You can like just wander around forever trying to find like trophies and stuff. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have time for that. I'm here for the story. And thus, many hours of PlayStation 4 have been played, and alas, it is but 3:30 in the morning and I think it is time to go to bed. So I hope you guys have shared in our excitement and uh, we'll share in some more excitements tomorrow. Have a good night, thanks for watching, bye. Give me daily vlogs I want them in my subscription box I wonder who might drop by even though sometimes it's Canada outside So don't go away, we're here every day It's not Apprentice A, it's Apprentice A Hey, 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 hey Home is where the vlog is